I think we're all frustrated. Frustrations among school board members have been running high for the last couple of weeks, but today there is one thing they're all agreeing on. They want more control. Last year we could move schools to virtual based on the our metrics and what we were seeing within the district, and we do not have that capability this year. So now if we feel a school needs to move to virtual, we have to apply for a waiver at the state and wait for that to be granted. Every board member signed a letter asking the governor to do away with the waivers, giving the district more say so. The intent behind that was that our superintendent and staff and school board were able to navigate and manage last year because it was controlled at the local level. They also asked for the continuation of extracurriculars during virtual learning periods. Um, we have cross country, we have band, we have music. I mean, it's, it isn't, I don't want the narrative to be that this is just about football because whatever happens with these extracurriculars now is going to be the precedent for the entire year for every school across the district. These are the sports and the activities that they are passionate about. These are the things that they love. We know the extracurriculars keep them engaged and involved in school. And, you know, and, and it's good for their you know, mental and physical well-being. Board members suggest in the letter that keeping after school activities running will also keep kids off of the streets. I know there's going to be the argument that, you know, they need to be home if, if schools are closed, you know, but kids don't usually stay home when schools are closed. You know, chances are these kids are going to be somewhere. In Knoxville, Jordan Brown, WATE 6 on your side.